Hey, Crazy Joe from Mega Podtastic here. I'm at the Second Avenue thrift store, and uh, I haven't been here in a while. Last time I was here, I noticed something weird, and it's gotten worse. And it's gotten so bad, I don't know if I'm going to shop here anymore because this is ridiculous. In the DVD section, instead of just selling DVDs, they've started bundling them together in two packs, so you have to buy two. But their two packs don't make any sense. There's no logic, no rhyme, no reason. Look at this one. Superman Returns and Strawberry Shortcake. How do they go together? Who's gonna say, hey, I need Superman and Strawberry Shortcake? It doesn't make sense. Look at this one. Snow White and the Three Stooges. Okay, so you like the Three Stooges. What, what else might you like? Would it be The Princess Diaries 2? What person who would want the Princess Diaries is probably a Three Stooges fan too. Like, I mean, I would think the Three Stooges would probably appeal to an older generation, because I don't know that today's kids watch that, and then a Disney Princess movie. Here, here, here's a good one. John Carpenter's The Thing and High School Musical. You can't buy one, you gotta buy both. You gotta buy High School Musical and John Carpenter's The Thing. This is stupid, and it's like every movie. Every movie is bundled together with something that it doesn't go with. I thought I'd share that with you, because it's really dumb. I will now demonstrate my skills. Here I go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is not on the ground. It is not on the ground. Look at that. It has not touched the ground. Oh yeah. Look at me go. Look at it. Yeah. Oh. You can't give yourself a heart attack. Ever have that moment where you eat lunch at Five Guys and then remember that there's a Shake Shack in the same mall and you think, damn, I should have gone to Shake Shack? I'm having that moment right now. I shouldn't complain. The Five Guys was delicious, but Shake Shack's even better. Super dry? Really? Yeah, this isn't wet at all. It is super dry. Want to see something cool? See that empty courtyard down there? That big space? That mall space? And 17 years ago in the year 2000, I met Mr. T right down there. Mr. T. I'll put a picture in right here. It was fantastic. He told me he loved me because I showed him love. I was wearing his t-shirt at the time. Ah, t-shirt. Hey, it's been a while. Haven't had much to say, quite frankly, but I want to tell you, I saw the movie Baby Driver, the new Edgar Wright movie the other day, and um, I this was a film that wasn't really on my radar. In fact, I saw the original trailer, and I thought, oh, this is some young adult movie because of the lead. I didn't know who that guy was, but it just kind of had this young adulty feel, and I wasn't interested. Then they said directed by Edgar Wright at the end, and I'm like, oh. Maybe this is a movie I should pay attention to. Uh, it's amazing. As soon as I heard directed by Edgar Wright, the movie went onto my radar, whereas before it was not. So I saw it opening day. It was getting positive word of mouth. So I'm like, well, this is something I should check out. And I got to tell you, I think it's Edgar Wright's best movie. Let me give you an idea where I stand with him. It wasn't particularly crazy about Scott Pilgrim. I know a lot of people like it, that film didn't really connect with me. Though Brandon Routh's scene about the janitor on Monday, that was hilarious. But I thought Brandon Routh was the best part of that movie. Maybe it's just that I'm not a Michael Sarah fan, I don't know. That movie didn't personally connect with me, though I know a lot of people love it. Uh, I love Shaun of the Dead, I love Hot Fuzz, I thought the, the end of the world, or the world's end, was pretty good. Not as good as Hot Fuzz or Shaun of the Dead, but, but good. But I think this is his best movie. It was just non-stop go, go, go. Uh, it reminded me of John Wick 2. Now, not in plot, not in story, but in pacing. Because in John Wick 2, once things got going, they just went and went and went, and it was just very full speed ahead. And I'm just talking purely in terms of pacing here, not plot or anything. But in just in pacing, 
it felt like John Wick 2 to me in that once it got going it was like fasten your seatbelt we're going full speed ahead here just very go 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 uh, very well done cast is great obviously Kevin Spacey's great uh, Jamie Foxx is really good in it let me tell you something weird about John Hamm John Hamm's in this movie and he's good in it but I never remember John Hamm. Let me tell you what I mean by that. John Hamm sort of, to me, has this very generic, good-looking guy face. Like, I mean, he's got the chiseled jaw and the dark hair, and yeah, he's handsome and everything, and the ladies love him, but there's nothing about him that kind of stands out. He's kind of like generic good-looking. So I'll watch a movie with him in it, or a TV show, and I'll watch it, and he's fine, and I'll be like, oh, that was pretty good. Then I'll watch the next movie that I see him in, and I'll say, well, who was that guy? And then I'll check the credits and go, oh, that was John Hamm? And then I'll watch another movie with him, and I'll go, well, who was that guy? I can't remember. His, his face cannot get locked down in my brain so that every time I see him, no matter how many times I've seen him prior, every time I see him in a movie, I go, well, who was that guy? And then I look and go, oh, that was John Hamm. He's just got a very unmemorable face to me. It's very, very weird. I don't know if anyone, if you're a Doctor Who fan, my megapotastic co-host, John, Hot John, compared it to the silence. He said he's got a silence face that you, you just, as soon as you look away, you don't. If you're a Doctor Who fan, you got that. So yeah, Baby Driver, I do think it is Edgar Wright's best movie. I'm highly recommending it. Listen. A lot of people say that uh, that it's all reboots, it's all remakes. We don't get anything original. Something original comes out, like Tomorrowland a couple of years ago, or Sucker Punch is a movie I love. These original properties come out and nobody goes to see them. If you support something like Baby Driver, if you go out, obviously Spider-Man's coming out in a few weeks, obviously Transformers is out right now. But if you pay to see Baby Driver, you're paying to see something original. And then you can't complain that nothing original comes out. There's something original out right now. Go check it out. Airplane. Well, anyway, keep on wearing those pajamas.